Next, we've got the first of the Kane lineup. We have Evander Kane. Oh, yes. Uh, a poor, reportedly pulling away from HDA, the Hockey Diversity Alliance. Um, I don't know. Petty wars have very much ensued. There's things being thrown back and forth. I know he threw out some accusations that there are a lot of personal agendas that are driving the Hockey Diversity Alliance. Like, he doesn't support that. He definitely supports their cause and like hopes that they continue going in the right direction, but he's separating himself from it. And <clears throat> for me, man, the, the response from the HDA is what like really got my attention because it literally leads. They, they posted on Twitter saying Ari Evander Kane's departure from the HDA literally leads with Evander Kane has not been involved with the HDA for more for than two, two years. years. For more than two years. So <clears throat> right away, the fact that they lead with that tells me that this is a very reactionary, kind of unhinged response, kind of trying to fling shit back and forth at each other. Like petty wars have begun. And, oh, yeah. and I love petty wars on Twitter. It's really fun. Um but just the way that they address this, like there, there's a different way. Like you've seen people address these types of things professionally and just say, Hey, like there, there's more to the story, you know, Evander Kane, not as involved in the HDA as he has, you know, alleged, but just like them immediately, the whole statement Evander Kane has not been involved with the HDA for more than two years. When he declared bankruptcy in January 2021, he was automatically disqualified from serving Ooh. as a director of the HDA pursuant to the provisions of the Canadian Not-for-Profit Corporations Act. It's which, just so candid and forward. Yep. Which statute governs the HDA. Since then, he has not attended meetings nor contributed to the strategic or programmatic vision of the organization. Evander has expressed an interest to rejoin the HDA on numerous occasions, but the group felt he needed to put in more work before rejoining. We had left the door open for him to re-engage in some capacity when that work was done and he was in a better place to be a role model for young athletes. We are surprised by today's statement and unfounded reference to personal agendas, but we wish Evander well and thank him for his role in starting our organization. I mean, first off, the way they ended it is the most disingenuous bullshit oh, I've yeah. ever fucking heard. Like, oh, we'll leave this little bit at the end so people can't say we're savages. They're Fuck savages. Um, why is Evander Kane's face all over their fucking assets. Why? Why is that the case if all of these things they're throwing out are true? And I'm not saying that Evander Kane isn't like speaking out of turn and saying things that might not be truthful, but just that whole reading from the Hockey Diversity Alliance tells me this guy's coming out against us. We're just going for blood. We're going to oh, shoot yeah. him. We're going to tear him down as much as we can. And I, I just, I'm sorry. Like, I, love and support everything that the hockey diversity alliance has been trying to do and stands for i think this is all bullshit i i don't know man <laughs> dude so it's it's i mean they're, they're hockey players man they're 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 they're, they're competitive but you're gonna go back and forth and think before you like this wasn't someone that got asked like hey if andrew kane said this response no they thought this up they typed it up they even like had it designed out on a graphic like what how is that your response like the, the way to do this properly is uh, leading with their last statement. We are surprised by today's statement and unfounded reference to personal agendas. But we thank, you know, Evander Kane for his contributions and wish him well. And then you can give a couple more points to defend yourself. But exactly leading with the hate and shit flinging. I don't know, dude. This tells me that where there's smoke, there's fire. Yeah, there's, there's definitely something there for sure. I th I read it as super like super aggressive right off the bat, and you 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 hit the nail on the head there. If they would have led with their closing statement, it would have been it would just would have read way more professional. It's like okay, they're defending themselves here, totally understand. But yeah. 
especially just like stating like you know his uh like the bankruptcy and just not being a good role model he's like a bad role model like you didn't have to say any of your shit why is that the case <laughs> no and that's such a good point you brought up too like as soon as this statement dropped they should have taken everything off or had it you know timed where like they took everything off and then the statement dropped then that would have given it at, at least then on, it's like okay on. that was all posted let's see here this all was posted two days ago I'm going to go on their page and see if they've changed it yet. Nope. His face is still there front and fucking center. Should I just tweet them and be like, guys, change your banner. Vander's still up and see if they do. See if someone catches on. I, th I think enough people have already said that. Let's be honest. <laughs> I think they've gotten dragged for that. And oh now I wonder goodness. if it's just like, we're not going to change it just because you guys tell us to. So. Oh, my huh. God. 